and everyone else, well, we have our complaints. We have our complaints, I'll just say that. So we're just gonna jump in into it. Let's start the second game. Let's go for it. I'm ready. I tried this before, but I failed. I'm ready to try again. I'm wondering if the developer changed something. I'm not sure. Because, well, I used to be able to find the things that I was looking for um, using floating point values starting at 100. And the last time that I tried that, it didn't work. So, and this was after a recent update. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I'm going to try again. I'm going to use Cheat Engine. Cheat Engine is a powerful software that allows me to modify the values of my memory or lock them at a certain number. So if I can find the variable that represents my thirst, for example, I can lock that at 100 and I'll never need to drink water. Let's jump right into it. I'm ready. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. I have all the time in the world for this. I don't have time for dating, but I have time for this. It's funny how that works, huh? Alright, here we go. Yes, I'm a nerd. I love it. Okay, it sounds like it loaded. It says loading, but I, I heard something. Here we go. Okay, so basically, I'm on top of a glass structure that exists without a foundation. It's, like, literally up in the air. Um, I used it to, to get here and build this. Uh, yeah. I put those torches down just to light the corners. Okay, so you can tell that obviously I know how to cheat. Cool. Let's jump right into it. Right, there you can see my stats. So, I want to grab this one. Okay, so Cheat Engine actually did something very convenient for me, and um, I actually have a cheat table for this game. Um, since this game is actually a work in progress, some of this might change, and some of this might not work. You don't have to worry about that. Right? Scroll down through the list. It's whatever. Yes, and I, I also have some of my own things that I've added. Um, these are probably not going to work. Because those are the memory addresses from the last time that I ran. So I have to find all of this for the first time again. <coughs> Watch what I'm going to do. So I'm going to type in 100 because I want 100%. I want to find the exact value, and it's going to be a floating point value. Float. Float. Right? Float on a pool. Alright. So. I have no water on me. I'm just going to take some fall damage. I'm going to come to 35 health. I took no damage. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um. Just come in here real quick. I believe it would be in my topmost left box. Yep. And I have to switch and grab that. Just gonna drink that real quick. Now I immediately pause the game. So basically what I did is I refilled my thirst to 100%. And now I'm gonna do a first scan. It's going to come up with a lot of things. You can see the count right here. That's going to be fine because we're going to filter it down really quickly. Just let it finish its process and then uh, we'll go back and do it. Let me hit my vape. You can see that there's several values right here that I said don't worry about any of that. 
Seriously, don't. Just hit resume, right? Open your stats. Watch your first. Which is the third one down right here. This is one I'm studying. This is one I'm trying to find. Okay. Open sheet engine. And uh, let's just wait. Well, we know that our thirst is going to decrease. So what I'm going to do is for the next scan, I'm just going to prepare this. I'm going to do a decreased value. I don't know how much it's decreased, but I'm just going to assume that it has decreased at some point. If it's gotten bigger, it's limited. I'm going to assume that it's definitely considered decreased at this point. Yeah, I, I'm, you can tell I'm taking my time. I want to make sure. I'm going to do a next scan. So notice how it's decreased significantly. Now I do know that the value is between certain numbers. I know that it is less is more than zero. Either. And oh actually I know it's between I'm gonna say seventy five ninety. It's it's over ninety percent. You can see my thirst, that's over ninety percent. And one hundred. So it's somewhere between ninety percent and hundred. Correct? Look at it. Would you agree with me? So let's do a next scan, and I've got, I, I've reduced the results a lot. Now, I don't care anymore. I'm just going to decrease that. I'm going to wait for it to drop a little bit more. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to die, and if I do, it doesn't matter, because it's not going to save. I'm just finding the variables that control my game. Um, <laughs> this is on my computer, and I own my computer. So I'm going to do a next scan right now. It is a decreased value. And now it's time to super filter it. Are you ready? Because I'm going to drink some of this water, pause it, and then I'm going to find exactly. So now that I drink water, I know that the exact value is 100. And I'm going to search for that. Now you see I've kind of limited down to 17 variables. That's pretty fucking close. But I don't know which one of them it is. Now I know it's not changing right now because the game is paused. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for unchanged value and do a next scan. And next, next scan. And keep going. I don't want anything changing. Now you see that there are a few. I'm down to 12, which is very good. Let's just watch. Let's see what happens. Now, you see that a lot of them are jumping around like crazy. And this one at the bottom kind of makes a lot of sense to me. The rest of them don't, because the game is running. I should be decreasing in thirst, right? So here's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to double click this, come down here, no description. That's the one I just added, right? You can see it right there. I want you to watch right now. Watch. I'm gonna, nope, not that. Watch. I'm going to change it to 50 percent, and this will confirm my variable. This will tell me that I absolutely have the right variable. Now I changed it. Watch. You see that my thirst is at 50 percent right now. And now I'm going to change it back and lock it. Hunt mode activated. Don't worry about that. Did you see that just happen? So now my health is locked, or my thirst rather, it's locked in. It cannot decrease. No matter what I do, it cannot decrease. It will never drop. Right? All my other stats, I can focus on them too. But that's not dropping. I own this game. I own it. This is mine.